Hi, I'm Mark Mason, sub-assembly and travelling gearbox technician for Rail Letterman Lanigan Racing. Welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday. Okay folks, welcome to my home away from home. This is where I work at a general race meeting or a test wherever we go in the country or basically in the world that we can take this transporter. Today I'm going to show you how we uh, assemble uh, the gear set or cluster or whatever you want to call it for um, a test or a, a race meeting. We start, we start afresh right from, from the, the rear housing. And basically the engineers will issue a sheet with all the ratios on that they anticipate we're going to use. And I'll start with the first gear. First gear in, in this gearbox goes in, in first. That's not always the case, but uh, with this Delara gearbox, first, goes, first gear goes in first. I've installed the shaft. First gear goes down with the dogs facing up. We've got a hub assembly now, bearings. now running free. Now we have the dog ring. With this gearbox we don't just run one, two, three, four, five, six. By the way this is a six-speed gearbox. Because this is run and controlled by a barrel system we can't we can't change gear that fast if we have the same gear ratio on the same slot of the barrel. So basically, we'll run to third now. So the next gear ratio I'm going to put on the two shafts, this is the lace shaft, this is the main shaft, will be third gear. On each gear are the ratio numbers. In this case, this is going to be a 1931. It'll have 1931 on both, both gears. The gear with the dog rings in. That goes down there to mesh on the dog when it goes into gear. And what we do so that the gears are running the same direction everywhere we go, is make sure that the, work, that the lettering goes the same way on both gears. So that's first, third. Next gear will be second. Again, we check with the sheet. I've already pre-picked these, but whatever the engineer wants. Again, we check it. This is going to be a 1731, 1731 on both gears. sure they run the same way. Hub goes on. And the spacer and the dog ring. This carries on through all of the gears. After second is fifth. I've already picked these, so I know that this is the correct ratio. Again, make sure the lettering is going the right way. The following is fourth. Final gear is sixth, which is good because I don't have to break all this down at a race meet. And if the driver just wants to change six, which is at an oval, is invariably what happens. So it's it's nice that it's assembled like that. That's sixth. Now the forks. As I explained, the gears first, third, second, fifth, fourth, sixth. Sounds pretty unorthodox, but basically there's only three forks that operate this. So the first fork is first and third, the second fork is second and fifth, and the third fork is fourth and, fourth and sixth. So you can assemble those. You can assemble these individually like this, which I'll do for these purposes. 
see how they go on. They go into the barrel. And then there's a fork shaft slides through and holds them all in situ. This barrel rotates and as the barrel rotates it moves and the fork drops into these notches which puts it into gear and then takes it out. Same, takes it into gear, takes it out. There's two sets of these on each side of this barrel because the barrel, as I, as I explained earlier, this one is first and third. So it takes it in, puts it into first, pulls it out of first, and then puts it into third. So then it carries on through the, the range, right there up to the last one here, which takes it out of fourth, and you go through fifth in this one, and then you go back into sixth. That's how this system works. Once we've assembled that, we put on the lock nuts. Use special tools on these as you see these lock nuts <laughs> have no hexagons on them they're all internal so have a lock special locking tool here that holds that and we tighten up from the inside this is, my torque. This is set the torque for this Now, for extra security, we, do, we certainly don't want these things coming apart. We have these uh, lock rings. There's a castellated lock ring for the lay shaft. It only fits in one position. This can take a. There you go, so that one's right. Then I'll put a circlip in. Make sure your circlip's right. Because we all know circlips have two ways. And that's in. That will hold that tight. The main shaft has splines on both sides, inside and out. Oh! <laughs> that was very, very lucky. Whenever that happens, guys will always say, go buy a lottery ticket because that is, that's rare for that to drop straight in. Normally, I have, I have the same issue going on on this side. But she's in. Another lock ring. There she is. That's ready for the trap when I put it back in the gearbox.